After Dark. I'm Zoe and I'm here on the game floor with Medrick who's here to talk us through a playthrough of The Inner Friend. So first off, can you just give us a brief overview of what The Inner Friend is about? Absolutely. The Inner Friend is a game based on the concept of the inner child. If you're familiar with that, it's this child entity we all have within ourselves. In this game, you have to reconnect with that child by going through his nightmares and fears. Mm -hmm. I should Basically. mention at this point that I am terrified of horror games, so this is just going to go well. It's going to be great. It's going to be great. So we're starting in the hair salon. Let's see what happens. Right. Okay, well I'm already creeped out and it's two seconds in, so that's good. So this little figure that you saw is kind of your guide throughout the whole adventure. So you'll see him many, many times. Cool. And he looks just like me. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Ah, okay, cool. That's fine, just a smashing mirror. <laughs> Nothing to be scared of yet. So why did you pick the hair salon as an environment? Uh, that's a very specific question with a very specific answer. Mm -hmm. um, it's actually based on a fear that our narrative writer had as what, a child. Okay, what's the fear of while we encounter this thing? Um, so it's the fear of actually scissors and hairdressers. Uh, oh, wow. Experienced uh, um, kind of a traumatizing experience while she was very little. Okay. She went to the hairdresser, she messed up the haircut because she was scared of the scissors. Oh my god. And uh, when she went to school, she was, you know, ah, made fun of no, a lot. No, 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 no. Ooh, Ooh, boy, that was nice. Ah. That was close. <laughs> so that's the inspiration for this one. But okay, usually cool. most of the levels are inspired by common childhood fears. Common childhood fears, Like, okay. uh, you know, hospitals, school, uh, darkness, abandonment. Good, all deep psychological fears. <laughs> exactly. No. The good thing about childhood fears is that I've spent so long trying to repress them and now they're all being brought up to the surface. And now they're back. Perfect. <laughs> uh, it worries me when you laugh like that. You'll be fine. Just fine. You're not the first person to tell me that when I'm playing a horror game. Not the first person. You won't be the last. <laughs> this? It's an etch -a sketch Exactly. Collectibles. Ooh, love those collectibles. Of course. A little bit of exploration. Uh, you'll see that there are a lot of references to the 80s in this 80s. game. 80s. Uh -huh, Good old nostalgia. Uh -huh. Even the title screen is pretty much uh, inspired by uh, Sweet. Stranger Things. Exactly. Stranger Things, that is a game which is a very... a TV show even... Ah! No, no, no! Oh, oh boy. <laughs> See, that I was made quick. one mistake. That was quick. I mean, it's impressive, almost. <laughs> it okay. is impressive. Yeah. So this level is, let's say, the most uh, stressful one. Okay, that's good. I'm going to set this as benchmark then. <laughs> let's go through here. Go through here. I was going to say, is she gone already? Nope. Of course she's oh, gone. Oh, no. No. That would be way too easy. Of course. <laughs> and who wants an easy game? Me. I want an easy game. Especially easy, easy horror, horror games. Game. Yes. Ah, 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 ah. No, 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 no. So you see the, the mirrors are the, the main mechanic in this level. Yes. Yep. Uh, but every level features a different mechanic. I should point out I can like hear her behind me. Oh. It's always based on a, apart from this one, it's always based on a common childhood game. Oh, really? Uh, okay. This one's kind of a tag, but if you get caught, you lose. Yes. Uh, you have uh, Hide and Seek, Marco Polo, uh, Floor is Lava. Oh my god, Floor is Lava, I used to exactly. love playing that. Yeah. Somehow I feel if I played that in this game, it would not be as fun as I remember it. It's going to be really <laughs> stressful and terrifying and scary. Depends, it depends. Some levels are more on the contemplation, exploration. Uh, it's very atmospheric game. So. Yes, it is. Feel that just playing yeah. in there. I have to say uh, as well, there's no text, no dialogues. Yeah, just it's all about what you experience. Music, sound effects. Oh, come on. And no UI. Yeah. I don't know if you can see that, but the screen is totally free of any kind of UI. UI, exactly. Hmm. So, um, you said that this level was inspired by one of the fears that your own staff members had. 
How did you feel or he feel when they were playing through this level for the first time? <laughs> Everybody who plays through this level for the first time is kind of creeped out. I mean, I'm not surprised. Sure. That's no surprise. I mean, the, the combo of uh, this weird-looking NPC with uh, the scissor sounds, you know? Yeah. Getting closer and closer and closer. You can just hear them in your ear, it's and it feels just, like she's about to chop off your it's hair. It's absolutely I horrible. Don't like it. Horrible. Why is there all those, like, blue bubbles on their face? What's that to do with the NPC? It's a uh, good question. Mm -hmm. um, it was inspired... All our NPCs were inspired by many different things. Okay. This one is just a big... Uh, big mashup. I couldn't say that because it's basically a human with a weird head. But yeah. it's a, a mix of a lot of different references that we found throughout the uh, production. Cool. Uh, we call her... Uh, in the studio, we call her the Popcorn Lady. The Popcorn Lady. Yeah, don't ask that me why. That sounds like it's disturbingly just... appetizing, which is not things I want to have when I'm playing a horror game. Disturbingly appetizing, that's yeah, nice. Yeah, you can quote me on that. Uh -huh. I mean, it's up to you whether that's a term of endearment or just being really freaked <laughs> out, so. Right, uh, try and find this mirror. You're almost there. It's the right way. Down. Okay. Oh, can't have a horror game without a long, eerily lit corridor. Of course not. Ah, thanks for the ceiling. Build ups, build ups. Oh god. That's the and whole goal here. of the atmosphere. What to build up tension rather than just gore? Exactly. A lot of horror games are on gore, I think. There's absolutely almost no blood at all in this game. Good. There's a hospital level, so you have a few people. You know. uh, uh, but no, 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 oh, no, 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 Dagnabbit. Don't forget, she pops out of the mirrors. She does. She likes her mirrors. Oh, God. I'd be remiss to ask if there wasn't a way I can run faster, because I can hear her <laughs> right behind me. Of course not. No. Have you ever had a nightmare where you could run faster no. than your opponent? It's I can't. impossible. Open it, open it, open it. Ah. You know why? No. There's no light around it. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> These dang horror games. I see what you... No, okay. It's my fault. This way. No, it's Talking my fault. Much. I'm the player. I've got to figure <laughs> these things out. Well, I always say that playing a game in convention ah. is a different story. It is, completely. You, <laughs> you tricked me really with that mirror. I wanted to go through it so badly. Oh, God, she's there. Oh, God. oh, oh yeah, ah, she ah, is. Ah. No, 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 no. I'm just, I'm looking forward to seeing the facial expressions I make when I watch this video back. It's going to be great. It's going to be really gonna fun. Great. It's good. Let's do this one. Okay. So as I was saying, there's a lot of, uh, when I said there's a lot of 80s inspiration, you have yep. some, uh, you'll see some reference to Kubrick, uh, Encounter of the Third Kind. Oh, cool, uh, yeah. The whole soundtrack uh, that's made in Montreal by a, a bunch of guys, uh, they're called Pixel Audio. Oh, yeah. Uh, amazing soundtrack. They've done some crazy work with the sound design and the music. Yes, yeah. Really good. Sorry. So what kind of Kubrick? No, no, keep talking because it makes me less scared. It's good. <laughs> What kind of Kubrick influences are there with this? Um, there is a very close representation of a, a, a room in one of his very famous films. Which famous film? You'd like to say the name? Yeah, I can. Uh, 2001 Space Odyssey. Ooh, interesting. Uh -huh. Oh, God, she's about to me. You've done it. Yes. Nice. So now you'll see a... a the usual loop of the game. Okay. This game yeah. is best, uh, built as a hub and spoke. I'm sorry, is that a dead bird? It is a dead bird. Okay. Okay. Oh, sorry, continue. No worries. Yeah. Um, yeah, so the goal of the game is to reconnect with the, the inner child, but first you have to rebuild kind of a trust relationship. Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, by facing the nightmares, you collect artifacts, mm -hmm. like you collect the dead bird. Yeah. It's kind of weird because you put it inside of you. But that's probably talk fine. About that. That's probably fine. And uh, you return to that child's bedroom. Oh, okay, yeah. And you just put back and rebuild the room piece by piece. Ah, like a jigsaw puzzle almost. Mm -hmm. that's nice. Ah, so these spaces, these little artifacts so here. These glowy ones are uh, collectibles. Okay, cool. So if you found them, you can put them back. Oh, sweet. Um, and then you have the, the artifacts that are. Oh, he just wants his bird less back. Kind, exactly. Let's give him his bird. There you go. So after every level, you come back here and Aww. piece by piece, you rebuild it. That's nice. And I gave him the edge sketch back as well. Yeah, exactly. See? And the collectibles. Nice if you want the full room, 
Yeah. You're going to have to spend a little more time to Dang find everything. It. I'm sure I will. Well, that was great. Thanks, Medrick, for talking yeah, me through it. It's my and pleasure. Friend. Yeah, I look forward to seeing more of it. When's its release date? Very, very soon. September yeah. 6th. September 6th? Great. Well, I'll make sure I catch it when it comes out and try not to terrify myself too much. <laughs> I'll try not. So up next, we have Forza Horizon 4. Let's go back to the studio to see what's going on with the game.